always another book that you can add to your lineup. Here are all of my notebooks I'm currently using. I hope these will inspire you to pick up one more as well, as if you need an excuse. First, let's start with the planner side of things. I'm a creature of habit and I've been having a classic vertical happy planner since 2016. So this is my catch-all planner. I just can't seem to move away from this one. This year though, I've made sure to include all sorts of trackers to try and customize it as much as possible and to reduce the number of notebooks I'm currently at. I can truly say it's a catch-all planner as it's taking care of all my planner needs basically. I've added some of my fitness and heavy trackers to it and these little extra dashboard pages for all my planner content side of things which I sometimes use and sometimes just wish to use really. I think this is as close as I got to a planner piece with my main planner though. I do love all the little extensions and things I add to it. The second planner I have is this bullet journal from the Happy Planner. I'm using this for meal prep and as a kind of like a recipe keeper, dabbling in that one. I can never remember all the meals that I made and always look for inspiration for my lunches and dinners and that and thought it would be great to meal plan, but also flip, to flip back to it and see how I was getting on and feeling on these meals that particular week. Almost like an eating journal in a way. I've been printing out all my recipes and noting down little bits as how I like them and things like that. I would have added a recipe planner in my happy planner, but I wanted to store the recipes to hence the separate notebook. Another planner I have is my financial one. I've had this for a couple of years now and technically it's meant to be used for budgeting, but realistically I just write all my expenses down and promise I'll do better next month. I've been getting better at budgeting though, I tend to route out all my expenses and put the rest to savings right away but I can still be better. At the very least this helps me keep track of what I'm buying and I feel like I have a better grasp on my finances which is always a bonus and it has actually helped me a lot. I think that's pretty much it for my planner needs but there are loads of fun journaling type of notebooks. You guys know how sentimental I am. First. It's my daily journal. I've had this for just about a year now. As you can see, I use a big happy planner for this one. The big happy planner seems to work best for me to keep up with it daily, which is the most important aspect. It's enough space, but not too much, and I do like to decorate the spreads in advance. I started it July last year, and I'll be ending it at the end of this year, which is a great duration, and I've been loving it. I've also dropped my gratitude journal from last year and just add gratitude onto the monthly pages of this one, which was a great solution, as previously, I would just leave the monthly pages unfilled anyway, and the gratitude journal would just be a bit bothered some sometimes to pick up. Next are my memory keeping journals. I want to have more and more of these ones. I have a bigger one from the Happy Planner. This one is for bigger occasions when I have a few photos to document it. I have this classic Happy Planner size one from the Adventure Be Happy box and I've ordered another one of these boxes to have another one for next year. I usually have a big size for the major events but I find this works just as well and I can be a bit more creative with it too. And then, as if that's not enough, I have this little one for the little occasions, a little... So this one's all for the tiny little things as well, such as apps and food and whatever else I can come up with. I got my traveler's notebook stuff and this found them as well for that versatility and definitely encouraged me to find new small things to document and as I don't need that many photos for that. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? These are my two most precious possessions. I love them. Such great journals. I usually have a Happy Notes notebook to document all my current leads, all the shows I'm watching and whatever else, but I thought I'll switch it up and I switched it to this notebook. I haven't gone far as I picked one with black pages. This is a notebook from the Notebook Therapy and I'm obsessed with it. It just feels so nice. I'm a bit behind documenting in this one as I wanted to switch it up and go more in depth, but I just haven't figured out the system just yet. I've been dabbling. Like previously, I would just screenshot YouTubers, but now I really wanted to capture their essence if you know what I mean. I am sane, I swear. This one is just a bit of fun as well, just a fun crafty project really, and I do love my content, I'm addicted, I really am. 
I was a bit behind on my reading journal, but I'm all caught up now and it's quickly becoming one of my favorite things to do. It is so fun. I chose another notebook therapy notebook for this one and it turned out to be such a big one that I'll probably have it for years and years to come, which I'm not complaining about. I've been loving reading lately and I'm not gonna lie, knowing that I'll get to print out all the covers and put them all inside of this notebook was definitely one of the contributing factors. I just love that at the end of the month I get to fill in all my trackers and all of that. I love having a space for all the reviews as I'm too shy to write the ones on Goodreads. I just write what I thought in the book really. Finally, one last notebook I have is this one. It's the Happy Notes from the Happy Planner. And this is where I print out all the workbooks from this podcast I love, the Rise and Conquer podcast. And it's kind of like a manifesting notebook. I route out all of my desires here and just use it for general journaling. That's more in the self development type sense rather than the memory keeping type sense. This is not something I do every day, more like just pick it up whenever I have something to write in here. But it's definitely a fun little notebook to let my thoughts flow and it's very therapeutic. And it's just the be happy notes and I love printing stuff and punching them out. So it works out really well, really. Oh, let me know the planners and notebook that you have. Good few, eh? Please let me know yours in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, you might also want to check this one out. That's my previous year's lineup. A few things have changed, but not that many. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next craft session.